What's going on guys? John Hammond here, coming back at you with some more Natus videos from the Over the Wire War Game. Um, so we just got up to level 6 here. We just got the passing for it in the previous videos. Uh, and again, we're still working with Python scripts that will go ahead and return the um, actual password for us, or kind of the flag to get us to the next level. So that's been working pretty well for us. We're working in Python scripts, and now we're on to level 6. So let's go ahead and check out what we're working with here. We're still using a request object session, and um, when we run this script, control B, um, we're not getting an output. Let's find out why. Okay, looks like we're good now. Sweet. Let's uh, let's see what this, this page is here. In the content of the NADA 6 level, there's a post method form. Okay, it says input secret and checking the secret that, that that's that's all we submit that's all we're submitting okay um it's just going to be posted so what is the issue there let's try and make a post to it let's um change our command here to post to url um, and we'll pass in some data we, we need, right? We need the secret to, I guess, equal anything. We'll keep our auth, like, credentials moving in. So name equals secret, and make sure submit is... It should be going through on its own, because it's submit. Um, so now if we run this, what, what is the response? Um, seemingly nothing. Okay. What is going on? Oh, oh, there is a view source code. Okay, totally missed that out. There is a view source.html script here. Um, that's linked, so let's see what we've got. Maybe it's doing something peculiar with this uh, with this input secret that we're doing. Let's change the URL that we want to just add the, um, what was it? It was index-source.html. After we get that page, oh goodness gracious, this looks pretty bad. Let's encode special characters. Will that work for us? No. Um, well, what about um, tidy HTML? HTML tidy. Will that come to save the day? Kind of. Maybe we can install a package to um, HTML escape or decode encode. Mm. Dang. How do we HTML escape this? Because we've got all these encoded ones. Let's see if there's an easy way to do that. Head on over to our friend Google, um, Sublime Text HTML decode, de deentitize. Looks like there's a package here. Has commands to convert HTML entities to a character. Let's try that. Install package. It was called string encode. Installed. Cool. HTML de-entitize. Okay, that did some stuff. We'll de-entitize again. Sweet! Cool. We just got the source code, just like that. Alright. Um, if array key exists, submit, posts. If the secret... So, so this is PHP code, right? You can tell here um, denoting... Well... At least the, the question marks and braces make it say that this is PHP code. So if you haven't heard of PHP, um, it is the backend language on most servers that will do processing of um, code and server-side code before a page is returned to you. So it looks like it is including something from a separate file. Maybe we can access that. Um, 
and it looks like it gets a variable secret out of that. We can only assume that's how that dollar sign is referred to. PHP variables are denoted by a preceding dollar sign in PHP code, and it's testing if the submit Okay, so if it is submitted, if the post request has been made, it tests if the secret that we posted to it, what we actually submit through the form, is equal to that secret. And if it is, it will give us the password. Okay, so let's check out, see if we can access that included file. Um, let's just tack that on to our request, change that instead of the instance it is. Okay, cool, and we get the secret here this guy. I don't think that our browser, I don't know if, because normally this, clearly this is PHP code. You can tell by the uh, beginning and ending uh, question mark and greater than, less than symbol, waka waka, whatever you want to call them. PHP code here would normally not be rendered out to the web browser. You'd not be able to receive that. I think there's an issue in that the designer didn't um, name that file with a .php extension, you can tell Apache or a web server to evaluate things um, that de-entitized. You can tell a browser to do some of those things with, like, evaluate PHP code on things that don't have a PHP extension, but it's probably a good idea to use the same extension if you, like, if you want to, and you can. Um, so, all that that didn't go through, but we got the secret for it. Did I put it in my clipboard? I did. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and paste that, or post that in this case, with using that as the data that we give, that, that we submit. And now let's see what the response is. Nothing. Why did that happen? I don't think, maybe we're not giving the submit key and that's necessary because we aren't giving it we let's say submit can equal submit now that should evaluate okay great that php code ran and it said great the password for nata 7 is here let's steal this glad that was able to be echoed out for us paste that in here if we run it, will we get it? Great, we've got it. Let's go ahead and save that. So if we had submitted that just how we were in a web browser, let's get let's get to that page and show you how it looks. Um, just even in your web browser, all that's happening is. Let's go to NAT6. That that form, that input secret form here, we're submitting this. Like all we're doing is literally typing that in and pressing the click here button. You can see um, through like your developer tools, if you're checking that out in Firefox or your web browser, you can see that you're making a post request when you do that. So if I loaded this page here, all the get requests that are happening to that URL, and if we input a secret here, we submit the query, you can see that it was posted here. And you can check out the headers, stuff that we sent it, like you've seen before in the previous video, here's the server, the content that we're working with, and refer we had in here, just like a previous video. And we actually sent it the parameters, the data that we're working with. Um, secret that we encoded, or secret that we sent and sent as a form data, put into a dictionary data type that the Python could work with. And then we got the response. Here's your web page back. Here's everything it gave you. And since the PHP backend server code was able to process it, we are granted with the NATA 7 password. Neat. All right, cool. Uh, really, that's all for this video. I think we're dragging on for a little bit of time here. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. And we'll move into uh, NATA 7 in the next video. See you soon.